The Outaba is one of the biggest tribes of the Arabic region originating in the Arabian Peninsula, which is distributed throughout Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. The Outaba are descended from the Bedouin. They trace back to the Mudar family and belong to the Kays Island Confederacy through its previous name, Hosen. Research of the lineage of northern tribes may begin with Adnan, as passed on by oral tradition. He is the common ancestor of the modern Ataba, Anaza, Tamim, Abd al Kays, and Quraysh tribes. Although Adnan is at the head of the tribal genealogy, genealogists and poets typically refer to two of his descendants, his son Matt and his grandson Nizar, ancestor of Rabia and Mudar. Mudar, the son of Nizar, fathered Ilan Alnus. The Hosin is another tribe related to the Ataba. The tribe's common ancestors are Ataba, Guzaya, Banu Jushim, Sid, Becker, Hosin, Mansur, Ikrima, Kh Asafa, Kays Island, Mutter, Nizar, Mad and Adnan of the Ishmaelites. The tribe, five or six hundred years old, is primarily found in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Kuwait, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. According to genealogy and oral tradition, the Ataba tribe are descended from the pre-Islamic Hosin. The Hosin are descendants of the Kays Island or the Adnanites, descendants of the Ishmaelites. The only known copy of historian and genealogist Hisham ibn al-Kalbi's 8th century AD The Great Ancestry was examined and verified in 1988 by Mahmud Firdus al-ADM, who found portions of the manuscript in the research of Werner Kaskell, a professor at the University of Berlin and the University of Cologne during the 1940s. According to the manuscript, Ateba is attributed to a standard, one of the banners that belong to the tribe of Hosen. And he is, Ateba ibn Guzaya ibn Jushim ibn Sid ibn Bekar ibn Hosen. The clans of Hosen all united under one of his descendants in an early time during the first centuries, other nations from Hosen intertwined around him. After most of the clans of Hosen departed from the land of Hejaz and not to the wide lands of God. To the Sham, Iraq, Egypt, the farthermost western lands, the lands of Persia, and its surrounding Persian territories. None was left of them except those who could not leave their land and country. Those who remained, formed the largest Hosen alliance in our present time, and it was named Ataba. Additionally, the tribes of Bekar and Taglib also congregated under its well-known banners. Other works by al Kalbi include the Book of Idols and the Abundance of Kinship. According to the latter, the descendants of Jushim ibn Sid ibn Bekar ibn Hosen are Guzaya, Oday, Alsima. The sons of Guzaya are Judah Aa, Hami, Ataba, and Outwara. Ibn Kathir wrote in his 14th century book. The beginning and the end, there is no doubt that Adnan is from the lineage of Ishmael, the only fact that is disagreed upon is the number of ancestors between the two. Most of what was said is that the exact number is forty fathers between Adnan and Ishmael, and this is based on what is written among the Christian and Jewish people, who know it from Baruch writer of the book of Jeremiah, and Abu Jafar al-Tabari. And others, have concluded that the Almighty God had sent to Jeremiah son of Hilkiah a revelation to go to Nebuchadnezzar and inform him that the Almighty God has given him authority over the people of Arabia. God then commanded Jeremiah to take Mad son of Adnan on, so that he, will not be afflicted by any resentfulness. For I, the Almighty God, will bring forth from him a generous prophet, and the last among prophets. Jeremiah accepted the request, and carried Mad to the land the Levant, where he grew among the sons of Israel, the few whom survived after the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. The scribe who wrote the book of Jeremiah, Baruch, transcribed the genealogy of his master to have it preserved in the library of Jeremiah, and to save the lineage of Mad, but God only knows. This is the reason why Melk disliked tracing the lineage to before Adnan, or attempt to name any of forefathers of Adnan. Other than Ishmael himself, because no truthful or precise record exists of these ancestors, save the book of Jeremiah. The tribes of the northern Arabian peninsula are descended from Ishmael. They are seldom referred to as the Ishmaelites, however, but are more often described as the Kays Island. The southern tribes are descended from Cotton, also known as Cottonites. During the Umoy era, a feud began between them. Scottish historian W. Montgomery Watt wrote that to constitute something like a political party, the tribes began to identify the people of the Arabian Peninsula as Kays Island or Cotton. The rivalry led to open conflict during the Second Muslim Civil War. Most Ataba genealogy is oral tradition dating to the Middle Ages and earlier. Muhammad's foster mother, Halima al Sadia, was from the Banu Sid tribe, a subdivision of the Hosen, the Ataba parent tribe. 
the lineage of the Ateba tribe varies among scholars, some attribute the tribe to the sons of the Banu Sid ibn Hosan. And others say that they are composed of the Banu Jushim ibn Sid ibn Bekar ibn Hosin or the Banu Amir ibn Sasa ibn Sid ibn Bekar ibn Hosin. However, accounts agree that their lineage traces back to Hosin, son of Mansur, son of Ikrima, son of Kasifa, son of Kays Island, son of Mudar, son of Nizar, son of Mad, son of Adnan. Sheikh Muhammad bin Hindi bin Humayd al Taiba between 1934 and 1939 during the 16th century, the Ottomans added the Red Sea and Persian Gulf Coast to their empire. They claimed rule of the interior as their central authority waxed and waned. In the 18th century, the Mutair began a series of wars against the Anaza for the pastures of central Nod and forced the Anaza north. The Mutair and Cotton were superseded by the Ateba, who remained the largest tribe in central Nod. During the late 18th and early 19th centuries, Ateba and Harb were counterparts in the centuries-long struggle among the sheriffs of Mecca and the ruling families of Ibn Rashid and Ibn Saud for Nod. 19th and early 20th century Ateba history reflects the wars in Nod and Hejaz, whose belligerents tried to enlist the tribe's support. In 1816, the Wahhabi kingdom was defeated by the Egyptians. Their leader, Ibrahim Muhammad Ali, persuaded the Ateba and several Anaza tribes to assist him against Abdullah bin Saud. Between 1842 and 1872, nine powers were at war in Nod. In 1872, Ateba chief Muslip bin Rubayan attacked western settlements of Riyadh. Saud bin Faisal immediately made a retaliatory raid on their territory, in which he was defeated and critically wounded. In 1881 and 1882, the Ateba plundered camps of Harb tribes who were subjects of Ibn Rashid. They unsuccessfully attacked Rashid in the summer of 1883. Members of the House of Saud joined Grand Sharif of Mecca on al-Rafiq in 1897, and undertook campaigns against Ibn Rashid with Ateba aid. The tribal war between Ateba and Ibn Rashid began after a comment by the Ateba poet Muklid al-Khlami to Rashidi leader Muhammad ibn Abdullah at his court, We are the Ateba. Oh, how many warriors we've slain because our legions are a steady team. The Ottoman Empire continued to control most of the peninsula. However, Arabia had its own rulers, a group of tribal chiefs in Nod and its surrounding area, and the Sharif of Mecca ruled the Hejaz. The Ateba cooperated with Al Saud of Nod, but sided with the sheriffs of Mecca. During World War I in 1915, Ibn Saud began an ambitious plan to settle the nomadic tribes in his territory, which included Nod and the east coast of Arabia. This was accomplished with the indoctrination of the tribes in religious ideals by Muhammad ibn Abd al Wahhab. Since the nomadic Arab Bedouin were not considered religious. In 1916, with British support, Sharif of Mecca Hussein bin Ali led a revolt against the Ottoman Empire to create a united state. The Arab Revolt of 1916 to 1918 failed, but the Allied victory in World War I resulted in the end of Ottoman control of Arabia. Abd i Aziz began to establish settlements known as Al Hid Jr followed by Sultan bin Bajad al Taibi of Nad J.D. in promoting the settlement of Saudi Arabia's people during the first quarter of the century. This was accompanied by the Ikhwan, a political, military, and religious movement. Abd Aziz, its founder, attempted to kindle religious enthusiasm among the rarely pious and often unpredictable tribes as a start for the reclamation and control of his domain. The spread of religious enlightenment by the Mutawiyan prepared the idea of an agricultural, settled life, and the first settlement was established in 1912 by the Mutir tribe. This settlement was soon followed by another by the Ateba. Their inhabitants were members of Ikwin. An important cause and new religious regulations, standards, and principles helped nomadic people leave their desert-dwelling culture and begin to live in groups, giving birth to a number of societies. The conflict with al raz Hid of Ha'il and the sheriffs in Mecca drove the process of settlement further, leading to about 130 such colonies across Arabia. Although efforts were made to bring different tribes together in a single settlement to end feuding, most of the settlements became associated with specific tribes. According to lists compiled by Oppenheim and Kaskell, the Harb had 27 settlements, the Ateba 19, the Mutir 16, the Ajman 14, the Shemer 9 and the Cotton 8. The Hidj Raz were in Nat and on Arabia's east coast. They reached the edge of the al rub al kh Ali Desert in the south, and the Syrian Desert in the north. In the west, they extended to the mountains of Hejaz and Asir. Ateba Sultan Ibn Jad and Iqab bin Mohaya enlisted in the Ikwin movement, 
and were deployed by Ibn Saud against regional rivals. They led tribal forces in the occupation of Al Hasa, Hayil, Al Baha, Jizan, Asir, Taif, Mecca, and Jeddah. This was considered a significant contribution in gaining control of the Hejaz region. After several victories, some Equan factions resented policies which appeared to favor modernization and an increased number of non Muslim foreigners in the region. Some Equan members became more zealous than their founder, and turned against him. Sultan Ibn Ja joined leaders of other tribes in revolt in December 1928. Iqab bin Mohaya led his Ataba tribe to aid King Abdul Aziz and vanquish the threat. Iqab and his followers were not the only members of the tribe to ally with the young king. The revolution was doomed when a large Ataba faction chose loyalty to Ibn Saud. In 1926, the inhabitants of Nod and Hejaz gave their allegiance to Abd al Aziz. He accepted the title of king the following year and ruled the central and provincial governments, authorized by Islamic legal scholars and Sharia law. Factions of the Equan tribe supported the preservation of their chiefdoms, including the tribe's choice of markets, raiding, and political affiliations, but were defeated in a series of battles during 1929 and 1930. Political opposition, including political parties, was subsequently forbidden. Centralization was apparent in economic change beginning in 1924, when Abd al-Aziz began to use taxation and pilgrimage income to build a central treasury. During this period, raids into neighboring states were forbidden. On March 29, 1929 the revolution was suppressed at the Battle of Sabila. After the defeat, another battle took place between two branches of the Ataba tribe, Barka and Rug. The rebellious Barka branch fled under Sultan Ibn Jad, one of their three leaders. He and his men were defeated and captured at DJ Abala by Umar ibn Rubayan, in command of al Rug elements loyal to the king. Ibn Jad was later taken prisoner. In the final crushing of the Equin Rebellion in 1930, some settlements were completely destroyed. The king then created the nucleus of a modern, standing army, which proved its worth in establishing peace. On September 23, 1932, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was established in a successful unification of a large portion of the peninsula. Early in the kingdom's history, a house of supplies provided food for the people. A harsh manager was memorialized by Shamir poet Hamad al Rukiz, O Creator bestow ease and certainly days will be relieved as the free gets full out of its own claw. Late in the 20th century, King Faisal al Saud was strongly supported by the Ataba. When the king was crown prince, the Ataba were warring with the Mutir over land near the city of Taif. One spring, a committee was formed by the government to legally prohibit either tribe from occupying the land until the issue was resolved. Faisal al Saud went to the source of the conflict to resolve it. He saw a roaming Ataba shepherd herding sheep and camels and asked him, Who are you? The shepherd replied, I am from the Ataba tribe. The crown prince then said, Very good. Take these verses of mine to your people, and they will know its meaning, O son of Ataba, what? Say him his mother's cheek was being defiled? In the core of all knowledge are solutions. Take this message, take it. With the poem, the crown prince emphasized that the land was being defiled by the conflict. The shepherd said, All right. I will take it to them, but I do not know who it is from. The crown prince replied, The person speaking to you is Faisal ibn Abdul Aziz. The shepherd responded, A name significantly acknowledged and greatly praised, however, please take its response in verse, Oh, greetings to the greatest of all solutions. If Faisal was against it we would evacuate the land. Take this message, take it. And my mother is like an elderly woman, rosy, white and clean as her cheek. And your mother, succeeded only by the strongest of kings, take this message, take it. The conflict ended soon afterwards. During the early 21st century, many Ataba enlisted in Saudi Arabia's armed forces. Great Mosque of Mecca siege Ataba's Juim and al Atabi. His brother-in-law Muhammad Abdullah al Qatani and hundreds of their followers seized the Great Mosque of Mecca on November 20, 1979. Although the rebels included Egyptians, Pakistanis and American converts, most were Saudi Atibas. The Grand Mosque seizure lasted until 4 December and resulted in the deaths of many civilian hostages, Saudi security personnel and most of the rebels, including Muhammad al Qatani. Juayman and 67 of his fellow rebels who survived the assault were captured and publicly beheaded. Many rebels evaded capture and fled. In response to the seizure of the mosque, King Khalid bin Abdulaziz al-Saud gave more power to religious conservatives and ulamas. 
he reportedly believed that the solution to the religious upheaval was simple, more religion. Newspaper photographs of women were banned, followed by women on television. Cinemas and music shops were shut down. The educational curriculum was changed to provide many more hours of religious studies, eliminating classes on subjects such as non-Islamic history. Gender segregation was extended to the humblest coffee shop, and the religious police became more assertive. Ateba branches in a number of countries The Ateba tribe is divided into three major branches, Warga, Rog and Banasad. Each branch is divided into a number of clans, and each clan is divided into families. Thanks for watching.